Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Keyblade Master and welcome to my channel. It's time for my usual weekly roundup of digital sales that I find interesting as well as what's new on the virtual console and any classic remakes that are coming out. This week, the Wii U releases Final Fantasy Tactics Advance and it's a really great game. I'm sorry I didn't record any footage to show you, but the game is 70 hours long and I don't have the hookups right now to get my GameCube to record footage. I need to install the software and get that set up for my channel sometime in the future. But it's a really great game. Just know that it's worth 8 bucks. It lasts 70 hours. Really fun. Got a lot of customization. They take out a lot of the things that frustrated me about the original tactics for the PS1. Your characters don't die in most places if they lose battles. And you got a load more customization. The story's not as great, but that's a small nitpick. If there is one bad thing I can say about this game is use the Wii U's quick save feature towards the end of the game because if you go into the final boss fight unprepared, the game does have a glitch that will get you stuck there, and I didn't like that. But other than that, it's a 70 hours game that's just tons of fun to play. I enjoyed the hell out of it during the GBA days, and it's definitely worth a pickup. And the fact that we're getting Square Enix games, hope Hopefully we'll get more on the GBA as well as some DS games. Final Fantasy Tactics for the DS was also a fun game, even better than the GBA version, and I hope we get that. Plus a game where the world ends with you. Really fun game. So hopefully we get those now that we got some Square Enix support for the Wii U Virtual Console. On the PSN, speaking about Square Enix, there's a lot of really great Square Enix games, a lot of Final Fantasy games that are on sale for good prices. If you want some classic Final Fantasy game, now's your chance to pick it up. Also, discounts on games like Vagrant Story as well. So definitely check it out this week on the PSN. And speaking about classic game releases as well, I would be negligent to tell you that Tomorrow sees a release of Tales of Symphonia HD on Steam. From what it looks like, at least from the trailer, this looks to be a port of the PS3 version. So we will be seeing the game without the manga lines. And we'll probably be having those extra clips and a few of the other changes that came with the PS3 version. There were a few things that the GameCube version had that were a little bit superior, but I'm glad that this is the version coming to Steam. That said, we're not missing much if Bandai decides not to put its sequel on Steam, because that sequel really sucks. I reviewed that this week as well, and it's just a really crappy game. Anyways, that's all for this week. Thank you for watching. This is Tommy the Keyblade Master signing out. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below.